Hello and welcome to Dubious Engineering and here we are at the uh, Alexandra Palace for the London Model Engineering Exhibition put on by Meridian Exhibitions. What a beautiful place, what a magnificent venue, really looking forward to getting inside and seeing what's going on. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see if we can get a few seconds with R2-D2 then. So this looks like it's taken you a while. Um, again, yeah, not not too bad this one. Uh, again, sort of perhaps three months sort of evenings and weekends. So again, a, a fairly rapid build. And then we've got smoke coming out of the chimney. Mm -hmm. Can I assume that that's an ultrasonic transducer that's generating uh, water vapour? You could, but you'd be wrong. Ah, uh, right then, not tell on us, this one. how do you that, get the smoke a, out of the chimney? That's a pretty, pretty cold way of doing it. This one is actually using a, a vape cigarette, but clearly not with any, um, yeah, not yeah. With any tobacco products uh, involved at all there. Understood. A uh, little aquarium pump to, to blow the air through and so on. And then, the, is this wheel, wheelchair motors on the bottom Yes, of it? yeah, I mean, I wanted the, the wheels to look vaguely reminiscent of uh, steam engine wheels, sort of cast steam engine wheels, um, and so it's really old-fashioned style of uh, wheelchair motors there. I mean, the motors are about 10 times as big as they need to be to move in, but uh, they fit, fit the job there. That's absolutely beautiful. A log fire in the front of it, uh, loads of knobs and dials on it, loads of brass and beautiful looking workmanship. Where did you get the dome from? Uh, the dome is a, uh, a lampshade from uh, a certain DIY store. Um, yep, they, uh, they they gave us that free. It had a had a nasty scratch on it, so they were, they were th in the process of throwing it out. So thank you very much, I'll have that. It's a little bit cheaper than the uh, the £500 uh, aluminium version I have on my other droid. <laughs> And, and more, um, you know, a thousand questions, I'm sorry, but um, so is somebody controlling this? Or is, uh, yes, or is ho this hopefully my partner is around somewhere over there with the, uh, with the controls running around. Um, yeah, and he's, uh, he's kind of um, an exercise in a bit of recycling as well, so he's got these old wheelchair motors on him. Uh, he's got some fairly old plywood that was lying around in the workshop. The dome, as you say, has been uh, recycled. He's got some oxyacetylene gauges, which boot fair 50p, horse brasses, a couple of quid at a boot fair. Um, all kinds of bits of junk like that. A brass candlestick in the top of his funnel there. It's just a candlestick turned upside down in the yes, top there. Yeah. Uh, a belt buckle from a, a famous pound shop on the on the top of the dome there. <laughs> all sorts of bits that have been reused or found around. And again, another really interesting thing here is, is what you've done is you've uh, actually added um, uh, cylinders to the sides of the legs uh, so that when the wheels rotate, the cylinders look like they're pumping up and down. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's, he's supposed to be steam powered. So he's, he's got his little steam fire in the front of his, his smoke stack um, and the cylinders. And obviously it's, you know, it's all fakery. It's all working back to front. The wheels are actually driving the cylinders rather than the other way around. But I think my point was it looks absolutely authentic. It looks Thank absolutely magnificent. That's really good work. So how long did it take uh, you to put this one together? Oh, well, I'd say this one, this one again was only probably about three months sort of evenings and weekends. Um, the great thing about steampunk is you, you, ha you haven't got to stick exactly to your plan. You haven't got to stick to somebody else's idea of how it should look. So I mean, as I say, he was about three months. I've got a regular R2 that I'm working on and I'm about about three years into that. Oh, wow, okay. Not finished yet. Yeah, so. okay, okay. No, it's absolutely magnifique. Thank you ever so much. It's been very wonderful. welcome. Good Take to meet you. A moment to and if you're enjoying the content on Dubious Engineering, please don't hesitate to give us a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. And perhaps put a comment or two in in the comment sections down below. All right, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful evening.